Hello viewers, I'm Rohit Khurana, your host on Intellect Digest. We gave you a quick hands-on of the Lenovo A1000 some time back and today we are here with the detailed in-depth review including the gaming performance, benchmarks, display quality, build quality and all you need to know about the A1000 before you make the purchase decision. We have the retail unit with us, we'll show you the box contents and what all comes with it. We'll tell you how good it is and how value for money it is. We'll also compare it with competing tablets like the Lava E-Tab Ivory in our following videos so stay tuned by pressing the subscribe button to start with this review i'll start with the build quality and form factor first the lenovo a1000 is a 2g tablet first of all there is a front facing camera at the front with 1024 by 600 display resolution this is a widescreen aspect ratio but this is not high definition it is somewhat less than the high definition when it comes to display resolution the display quality is good this is an ips display and you can see it from steep angles there is too much light here for the reflection but but otherwise this display looks very good for normal day-to-day -day usage in bright sun it may not be very much visible but overall the display quality and the color quality is pretty impressive for a device under eight to nine thousand rupees there is a front facing camera of 0.3 megapixel there are two speaker meshes which you can see here so there is one on top and one on bottom this is a dual frontal speaker that you find only on premium devices and it gives Dolby digital surround effects which come inbuilt Talking of the build, it is made up of high quality material and there, inside it there is a metallic cage to protect the interiors of this tablet. There is no rear camera interestingly. So if you are fond of taking pictures with your tablet, you will be disappointed with this. You cannot take pictures with the rear camera. There is only a front facing camera which is only good for video conferencing or video calling but not really good for taking pictures. The quality of material used on the Lenovo A1000 is premium. There is Lenovo branding here and Dolby Digital Plus branding here. There are two slots provided at the back. This is the SIM card slot where you can put a regular size SIM card for your calling as well as 2G data browsing. It does not support 3G but it does support calling as well as 2G and edge data. There is a micro SD card slot. This slot can be used to expand the memory. There is only 4GB internal memory. You can add memory by adding a micro SD card depending on your multimedia requirements. On the right hand side there is a volume rocker key which is finished in metal and has good feedback and on top you have a power or wake up key. You also find 3.5mm audio jack followed by a micro USB port for charging as well as data syncing which is placed on the top. Bottom is fairly clean with a small mic hole for your voice calling and video conferencing etc. You cannot do 3G video calling, it supports only video calls using the Wi-Fi since it supports only 2G data so you cannot actually do video calls using the 3G connectivity because it does not have 3G, it has only 2G or edge data connectivity. It feels fairly handy at around 3 to 400 grams weight. It is not very comfortable to hold in one hand because the bezels are very thick which increase the overall dimension of the tablet but it does look good to give you a taste of how the touchscreen feels like. I'll quickly play a game and you can see how it responds to the touch and how it renders the colors. So as you can see the touch quality is very good. It responds very smoothly and very sensitive to touch. The graphics also render very fast. There is no graphics lag or stutter in games like the Subway Surf 2. I'll also play some heavier games like the Dead Trigger and Frontline Commando to show you how it fares at graphics. So. In this game we have to locate the zombies and shoot them. This side of the area is to move the player and this side is to shoot, aim etc. This is a moderately demanding game. It uses graphics to a good level and gives you an idea of how responsive this tablet is for moderate gaming. So here we go. One thing which is very noticeable is that the sound quality is impressive. The dual frontal speakers do a very good job, much better compared to any other speakers that we have tested on a tablet which is under 10,000 rupees.
and the gameplay is also very interesting and impressive the touch controls are very precise this tablet is responding very well to our touch inputs and we can very precisely control the player graphics rendering is smooth there is no problem after gaming let's talk the benchmarks we ran an n22 test and we got a score of 9194 which is not bad considering that this tablet is very economically priced and has a 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor it has 1 gb of ram 4 gb internal memory runs android jelly bean 4.1 right out of the box as you can see there is a gpu which is power vr sgx 531 on this which is apt for the kind of overall configuration it has it does not have one of the best cpu or gpu that we have seen in this price segment but still it does not disappoint us with the kind of performance that it delivers overall let us also see how it performs on the nina mark 2 benchmarking for graphics So when it comes to graphics, it gives a frame rate of 22.8 frames per second which will give you smooth gaming for most of moderate games but for heavy games it may not be enough. So we will not suggest this if you are a heavy gamer you should stay away from this tablet but overall as a proper value in terms of the price segment and the kind of features that it has on the offer it is still a very good option. To give you a fair idea of the multimedia usage I will quickly show you a video from our channel to show you how the video consumption actually feels like on this tablet and how it streams the videos from YouTube. This is playing in high quality and I have turned the volume to maximum so that you get a good idea of the power of speakers that it has on the offer. Hello viewers, I am Rohit Khurana from Intellect Digest. Today I am going to give you some quick tips and tricks of the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. This is an incredibly powerful device. The audio is fairly loud, the colors come out to be very good and it does not fade even on steep viewing angles so you can still see the screen when it comes to video consumption it is really impressive let me also give you an audio playback so that you can sense the kind of uh, music playback it offers there are lots of uh, Dolby digital effects that it offers so it gives a lot of power in the music and it gives very good clarity and treble levels when it comes to music playback through the Lenovo A1000. When it comes to internet browsing experience, the inbuilt browser is also fairly good. This is the Android Jelly Bean 4.1 browser and you can pinch to zoom, you can view the websites very clearly and the text is also fairly easily readable. As you can see here, this is our website Intellect Digest. I have also opened our YouTube channel here in the browser and the browsing experience is fairly good. Let's talk about one very interesting feature of the Lenovo A1000 which probably nobody talks about is the USB OTG support. It supports a USB on the go cable. This is a small USB connector with which you can connect an external pen drive or even a set of keyboard and mouse and use your tablet like a proper PC. Let me quickly connect this pen drive and as soon as I connect, I see that USB connector is connected, preparing external USB drive. Once it shows that, detects the drive, I can play music and files right from this pen drive onto this tablet without even transferring any data onto the tablet. Let me disconnect this and add a USB keyboard and mouse dongle. This is a wireless USB dongle. So I just connect it here and it detects my keyboard and mouse and I can use it just like a PC. It gives me a lot of flexibility and functionality since most of these tablets already have basic computing capabilities and applications I can use a full size mouse just like this as you can see there is a pointer on the screen I can open websites I can go to browsers and start typing using a full size keyboard I'm using this keyboard right here to type and work on this. I can go to other applications like email and compose emails. So I can just go to my Gmail application, click on compose here and I can start emailing. I can also add attachments by clicking this attachment icon. I just open gallery, 
select a picture I want to attach and I just press the send button and it sends the email so I can do basic computing stuff there are many office applications also available on Android place so you can do some basic office editing like creating excel sheets or presentations etc on the tablet using an external keyboard mouse which takes the productivity to next level it is fairly handy supports 2g data so you can access 2g on the go so there are a lot of positives that this tablet this small tablet has on the offer and one interesting fact that differentiates Lenovo A1000 from other tablets or other competitors is its build it has been built to last with a lot of toughened materials there is a metallic cage inside to protect the casing or the circuitry of this tablet even if it falls down it is less likely to break compared to its counterparts talking of the box contents it comes with a standard USB to micro USB cable a fast wall charger which charges it quickly it has a large battery of 3500 mAh which should last for at least 1 to 1.5 days considering that it does not have 3G data it has 2G which consumes lesser battery sadly it does not come bundled with any earphones you may want to use earphones because this is fairly bulky and you may not want to put it next to your ear you can separately purchase bluetooth headsets and pair it with it and you can use the bluetooth headsets or a standard wired earphones you can connect with the tablet and use it for accepting or rejecting the calls or even listening to the music the music quality using standard earphones is also very good we have tested it since it has Dolby Digital Plus algorithms for sound it sounds really well talking about the positive points it is fairly well built and gives good battery life and it is a no-nonsense product talking about the negatives of this product it comes without earphones there is no rear camera on this tablet and it looks very simple and plain Jane this is all we have on a quick and detailed review of the Lenovo A1000. We hope you like this video. Please press the like button below for more such videos. Stay subscribed by pressing the subscribe button. This is your host Rohit Kurana signing off. Thanks for watching.